Hey everyone and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to make swing arm suspension just like this in Trailmakers. It is an easy and effective way to improve your off-road vehicles by giving them better stability and control. Let's jump right into it. So first, what is swing arm suspension? Unlike traditional suspension setups, swing arm suspension pivots from a single point right here, allowing the wheel to travel up and down in an arc. This keeps the wheel more aligned with the ground during movement, making it great for off-roading. Let's start by creating the core frame of the vehicle. To do this, I'm going to use three 2x4 blocks, just like this. So, once we have our little piece of frame down, we're going to need to build the actual swing arms. To do this, we're going to need a steering inch here. This is where the swing arm is going to pivot off of. For the settings, set the strength to zero and remove the inputs from the hinge. Then, you can build your actual swing arms. You can make them as long or as short as you want for whatever purposes you may need. A longer swing arm is going to give you more travel, but it will also require stiffer suspension. So once you've built your little arm like this, what we are going to do is we are going to put a wheel on the end of it. Usually I go with truck wheels. I wouldn't really recommend using this kind of suspension for off-road wheels because it's disproportionate and it doesn't look good. So I'm going to use a truck wheel. Then the next step is figuring out where you're going to put your suspension pieces on the swing arm itself. Generally, the closer the steering hinge is to the pivoting point of the swing arm is going to create more travel, but it is going to require stiffer suspension. So I like to keep it around here. Then you're going to need to place your actual suspension pieces. Stack them two, one, I don't really care. I like going with one or two because that's all you really need. Although, since I have two all the way out here, it should be plenty. Also, don't forget to set the steering hinges to zero strength and remove their inputs. Then we are going to add another steering hinge on top, like this. Now, we are going to connect the frame with blocks, like so. Then once you've connected your frame, what you have built is a successful and very simple swing arm setup. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. 